My golden rule of counseling is to respect others for who they are, not who I think they should be or who I want them to be, but who they are. My goal is to look at a client and understand their unique situation and perspective based on their gender, lifestyle, profession, culture, religion, education, social class, to take all those things into account and truly respect them for who they are and help them achieve the goals that they're trying to reach through counseling and talking with me. Um, as far as my favorite Bible verse that best represents counseling, I believe it's Matthew 2540. And 2540, Jesus says, what I tell the king replies, I tell you the truth, whatever you do for the least of my brothers, you do for me. Now to set up the background of the Bible verse, it's in the parable where Jesus is talking about the sheep and the goats. In the parable, Jesus explains that he will separate one from another as a shepherd, shepherd separates the sheep and the goats. Now who are the sheep? The sheep are the ones that will inherit the kingdom. The sheep are the ones where he said, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was sick, you took care of me. When I needed clothes, you gave me clothes. When I was a stranger, you invited me in. When I was in prison, you visited me. So these are who the sheep are. These are the ones that are taking care of the least of the brothers. So I have a good friend who heads a ministry, and she often refers to the church as the hands and feet of Christ. And I can't think of a better Bible verse that represents that. And I do feel as a Christian counselor, I am representing the hands and feet of Christ. Now, as far as my advocacy, being the proud mom of three children, two of whom have intellectual disabilities and on the autism spectrum, my goals for my advocacy is to continue what I've been doing. I have a radio show, um, and the goal of the radio show is to help parents and caregivers and special needs individuals to have the information that they need to be a success. So I plan to continue with that. Thank you.